If you come to Asia and you don't come to Cambodia, you've missed out on an absolute yeah. gem. It could be improved with like flawless roads and easy travel routes like you have Grab and other things in, in Thailand. I was in a tuk-tuk at night and then someone wanted to grab my, um, my phone. They've come such a long way and done so well to rebuild themselves. In a series of episodes, I'd like to find out for you if you should visit Cambodia on your next trip to Southeast Asia. In this episode, we are approaching foreign tourists to find out what do people really think of Cambodia. I'm especially making this video because I have been receiving a lot of negative comments about Cambodia while I have been only experiencing positive things here in Cambodia. So it doesn't make sense to me. So let's try to find some interesting foreign tourists to see what they really think of Cambodia. We've only been here for about three weeks. In Cambodia? Time. Yeah, okay. in Cambodia. Uh, only for three weeks. Like, that's, that's already uh, quite a while. What is there so much to like? I think it's more authentic than some of the other sort of backpacking routes around Southeast Asia. We were in Thailand before that and while we loved it, it's very touristy. And I think you lose some of the actual sort of vibe and culture. Whereas okay. in Cambodia, we've really got that. So it's yeah. been... Where have you been so far? Uh, we've been all around Thailand, mainly southern Thailand around the islands, yeah. and then Bangkok, and then Siem Reap, uh, Koh Rong Samaloam, Koh Rong, ah. uh, Sihanoukville, and then over to Kampot yeah. for, for a week or so. We love it here. Yeah. This is definitely our favourite spot so far, because oh. there's so much, uh, there's so many things to do. Yeah. Seems to be so many activities, and we've just extended our stay so we can yeah. <laughs> be here longer than in Phnom Penh. Definitely not what we were expecting Kampot to be like, but... What were you expecting? I don't know, I was expecting it to be like a little uh, crabbing village rather than like all these western restaurants and yeah. like fun activities to yeah. do so it's definitely a nice surprise yeah. yeah did something maybe bad happen well i wouldn't say bad in a way i think what we found is that it's a bit more difficult to travel around i think yeah. um if you look at the road from a uh, sea nukeville to campot for example is crazy it's like a dust <laughs> road but that's part of i think the charm of the yeah. place like yeah. it it could be improved with like flawless roads and easy travel routes like you have Grab and other things in, in Thailand and places. But then that's what makes it yeah, so different I guess, it, yeah. doesn't it? You get good stories here, yeah. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a message to the world related to Cambodia? I don't know, try and be yourself mm. and yeah, and try and enjoy every moment yeah. of it. I'd, I'd say see it before it becomes too touristy because I think it's still got a lot of authenticity now and I think some of the permaculture will disappear as it becomes too touristy so basically get her as soon as you can. We lived here for seven years. Okay. Seven years ago. We is your... My, me and my wife. Yeah. And it's the first time back in seven years. Okay. And it's changed a lot. It's a... These buildings weren't yeah. here and all yeah. that. It's... Are you... Are you recording this? Recording this, yeah. yeah. If you don't mind, sir. No, no, no. It's... And, uh, but Kampot hasn't changed that much. But Phnom Penh has changed a fair bit. Yeah. But the reason why it's changed, it's much better for the Khmer people. But when I lived here, it was great for the Barangs. Okay. Yeah. It was, you know, the restaurants and the cost of restaurants and the bars and it was all suited barangs but not for the local people. Now the local people are enjoying the lifestyle yeah. that the barangs used to enjoy. Okay. Yeah. But it's still one of the best gems. If people shit can Cambodia, they've never been here properly. Yeah. They've never they've never been to Sam Reap, to Angkor Wat, to the gem places of places like Cap. Yeah. Which is unbelievable. Kampot is is still the unhidden gem. You have to ignore the comments of negativity because these are people that are probably like to enjoy four star, three star luxury and and want all the comforts of of uh, um, of you know air conditioned restaurants and and live the, that kind of a life. Then that's what Thailand can offer. Yeah. But but Cambodia is still original. Yeah. Like. Laos is, as is Vietnam. Those three countries are still are like old Asia, the way Asia used to be 30 years ago, 40 years ago, mm -hmm. whereas Thailand was already moving ahead 40 yeah. years ago. Yeah. But Cambodia has, was left behind, and so it's still originally it's a very cheap, great restaurants in Phnom Penh. I mean, world-class restaurants in yeah. Phnom Penh, yeah. and great bars. How and about safety? No problem. Mm -hmm. Never had a problem. I think that if you're a a Western woman on her own, walking around at night with a handbag, I think you're in trouble. Yeah. You, they, you know, the, the motorbikes can come by and grab the bag straight off you in two seconds flat, yeah. and it's gone. But I think, uh, apart from that, I've never had a problem. My daughter, when she came here, had got robbed twice. Okay. But then she walks around with a bag, and I just think you don't yeah. wear bags. Yeah. If you're a single 
um, brang woman, you wear a bum bag. Yeah. It's something that you can is more secure. Oh. But if it's, if you're silly enough to do that, then yeah. you know you deserve to be robbed. <laughs> Saying to your own daughter, but yeah, I, including, I my daughter. <laughs> including my daughter. Sorry. Including my daughter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Including your daughter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I said, well, you, you know, you walk around with a handbag. We told you not to do it. Yeah. The food is much better, and I mean, I love Thai food. But there are some also from a very good Khmer food, which is kind of similar to yeah. Thai food. Yeah. It's certainly a lot better than Vietnamese food. I don't like Vietnamese food okay. much at all. <laughs> it's, 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 it's good if you're a rabbit. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so they serve a lot of lettuce and a lot of green stuff. And, you know, okay, everyone has different tastes, right? Yeah, but I mean, if you miss out on coming, if you come to Asia and you don't come to Cambodia, you've missed out on an absolute yeah. gem. Right. And I have no investment, because I live in Australia now, so okay. I've got no reason, I've got no invested reason or, or to, to, to say that, there you go. but you'll you'll find uh, gems everywhere. Lovely old French colonial architecture. It's just um, an anchor. What is one of the wonders of the world? Sir, thank you so much. Do you have right. a message to the world or some wisdom to pass on? Okay. What? No, do you have? <laughs> Sorry. No. <laughs> Before anything. I'm, I'm not wise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah, not wise I think, enough. I think so. You you said a lot of wise things. It could be anything, or maybe something related to Cambodia. I've had all my dental work done here. Major dental work. Something that was 3,500 in Australia is 250 here. Yeah. So it's cheap. All good, uh, sterile. Oh, clean. beautiful, beautiful hospitals. Room Chang is better than any hospital in Australia. It's my second time, oh, yeah. um, almost two months this trip. Last, oh, wow. last time was one month. Yeah, yeah. In Southeast Asia or just Cambodia? Just Cambodia. How do you experience Cambodia? How do you like it? I really like it here. Yeah. Everyone's super friendly. Yeah. They're really great people. Your money goes a long way. So yeah. you can have a great time with not much, you know yeah. what I mean? My dad actually lives here. He's retired here. He's older and stuff, and I'm helping care for him as well. Oh, uh, yeah. So kind of a mixture, yeah. but um, it's a holiday as well. But he's been here like eight years now. What do you like the most about Cambodia? To be honest, like, you know, the women are amazing. Yeah. Like all the Cambodian women, I mean, compared to the Western women where it's like, you can't even go on a date, and so I mean, at least these chicks will actually like, respond to you. Yeah, yeah, and they're, they're actually like really nice women and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know there's a lot of uh, Western ladies watching as well at the moment. What's so good about well, Cambodian like, women? You can so. go out on 10 dates with a Western woman and buy her t 10 dinner dates and not get nothing. Cambodian women, it's not a big deal to express love. And they're just beautiful, they're beautiful, uh, just women are beautiful. Have you been anywhere else in Southeast Asia? Um, I have not. I have oh. not. No, I'm, okay. I'm planning on it. They have a pretty rough, sad history that kind of angers me. Um, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Not to say, you know, but they've come such a long way and done so well to rebuild themselves yeah. after a dictatorship, you know, back in the 70s. So I, I commend them for that, you know, after what they've gone through yeah. in the 70s. And you know what I mean? Horrible, just yeah. sick shit. and and communism and all that shit. Do you feel safe over here? I do. Yeah. I feel safe. Yeah. I mean, I walk around at night all the time and I don't get bothered at all. Just be careful. You're doing the right transactions. If you get confused with the with the money sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. And they, they might try to, you know, try to get a little more out of you. But other than that, no, you just keep your wits about you and it's 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 very it's very safe yeah. but still changing and they're re and they're doing great the yeah. real building so that's ama amazing to see yeah. and um, um, i just like to keep see them flourishing as yeah. they're doing you know yeah. it's take it's slowly getting great yeah. you know what i mean so you're just basically saying like just Cambodia carrying on what you're yeah, doing it's and getting better yeah. it's going to be the yeah. new, it's going to be the new first world yeah all right <laughs> there you go, yeah. there you go. Hey, yeah. do you have um Maybe a message to the world or some wisdom to pass on. Come to come to Cambodia, great place. Um, just don't take all my women. Just kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's, just a, it's a great place. It's a great place. What do you really think of Cambodia? How long have you been here, and how many times have you been here already? Um, so I'm here already three years, and I love it. No way. So I studied in the Netherlands, and yeah. from the Netherlands I uh, came here, and okay. I love it. Uh, as soon as I stepped out of the plane. Yeah. Uh, I fall in love with the country. So, are you working? Yes, um, yeah. I'm working. Uh, I studied international education yeah. uh, in Meppel. You know Meppel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> Small town in the Netherlands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, so um, then I applied for jobs here in Asia. Yeah. And then I found I'm living in Phnom Penh. So, sorry, what are you doing, man? Uh, teaching grade five oh, at an okay. international school. Yeah. But yeah, I love it. Hey, but um, all the negative, uh, negative comments. 
they come from somewhere, I think. What, what do you think people don't like about Cambodia? What is there not to like? To be honest, I don't know. No. <laughs> I love the chaotic freedom. You know, I yeah. love it, but maybe some people need to adjust and ah, yeah, they... It's different than the organized Western world, maybe. Yes, ah, I, am. I think okay. so, yeah. yeah. And, and you love it here too, right? I do love it here too, and I feel safe here. Do you feel safe here? I feel so safe. Are you living in Kampot or...? In Phnom Penh. Ah, oh, wow. Yeah. So I generally felt a little bit on edge, yeah. I would say. I felt a little bit worried about uh, walking around with my camera, uh, mm -hmm. people warning me as well. Yeah. How do you experience that? I had some situations where I was in a tuk-tuk at night and then someone wanted to grab my um, my phone. Oh. But I feel like, I don't know, it's everywhere in the world, right? Yeah. Like, in my brother lives in Brazil and I think they're uh, everywhere, okay. you know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, Brazil out of all places yeah, as well, yeah. uh, I mean. But I feel like, I don't know, I feel safe. Yeah. I feel safe. Okay. Favorite thing about Cambodia? My favorite thing? Yeah. Exploring different cafes. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, okay. and um, maybe... Yeah, running in the morning um, and just yeah, just enjoying the atmosphere here. So in one sentence, what do you really think of Cambodia? It's a magical place where all your dreams can come true. <laughs> ah, okay. hey, one more question before yes. I let you go. Do you have a message to the world or some wisdom to pass on? Um, do what you love. Find your place in the world where you would like to be okay. <laughs> and enjoy life. What do foreign tourists really think of Cambodia? Next episode, we are showing you the top five things to do here in Kampot, Cambodia. The question is now, should you come to Cambodia on your next visit to Southeast Asia? I say yes. If you do like this type of content, please give us a thumbs up. I would like to say from Kampot, just four hours away from the capital city in Cambodia. Bye for now. And stay champ.